Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistic scale test. Today I've got another varmint load for you. We're shooting Federal Power Shock 64 grain soft points in 223 Remington. Now Federal has two different versions of this load, at least they used to. One that's meant more for varmints and one that has a deer on the box, if, if you know, whatever you think about that. This is the varmint load. And here is the box for that Federal Power Shock 64 grain soft point in the 223. Want to point out on this box, you have like your fog coyote prairie dog so this is the varmint version of the 64 grain soft point ammo i used to see this same like same design power shock federal blue box but it would have a deer on it i don't know if they have discontinued that or not i haven't seen it in a while nevertheless this is the varmint version let's flip it around back here is all of your factory promo information feel free to stop pause zoom in and read all that if you would like right here is your ballistics data and let's go ahead and open the box up and take a look at one of the rounds. Per standard federal ammo comes in these plastic holders. It has the blue lacquer sealed primers, a nice touch. Brass on federal ammo is usually nice and clean. This is no exception. I'll yank one out. And there it is, there's your 64 grain soft point. Let's shoot it and see how it does. And the test rifle today is my CZ527 carbine. It's got an 18 or 18 and a half inch barrel, I don't exactly recall. Chambered in 223, of course. Up top, I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 3 to 9 by 40 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my leather cartridge pouch cuffs, which incidentally perfectly holds a CZ527 magazine, coincidentally enough, so it works for that as well. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you, I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down at the blocks after shooting that Federal Power Shock 64 grain load out of the 223. Let's go ahead and take a look at penetration. And we did capture all three bullets. We had two of them slip over to the second block. So we got some really good penetration out of these things for a soft point 223. And our shallowest bullet is right here at 15 inches coming on over. There's our second one right there at 16 and a half. And then the last bullet is all the way over. It's like right there if you can see it. We're going to go ahead and round it up to 19 inches. That is actually really good performance. I was not expecting that. And then coming on over to the first block, you can see there is some wound cavity that opened up upon impact. Not super massive, not super deep, but it'll definitely put a hurting on something. Looks like it starts at about the two inch mark and peters out at about the seven and a half to eight inch mark. Pretty standard for what I'm seeing with 223 ammo. And let's go ahead and take a look at the velocities for that Federal Power Shock 64 grain load out of the 223. Come on now, our high was 29.30, our low was 28.98, and our average was 29.12. And here we are looking at those Federal 64 grain soft points fired from the 223. Weight retention wise, we saw 53, 60, and 60 grains respectively for an average of 58 grains retained weight. That works out to 90% weight retention. And honestly, I am very surprised by that. This is not, at least supposedly, not a bonded bullet. I don't know, it might be, it looks like it might be. And it retained a lot of its weight. This isn't one of those 223 loads marketed as a deer load. It's marketed as a varmint bullet. It's got a prairie dog, a coyote, and a fox on the box. So very surprised. And then on to expansion. We saw 0 0.52, 0 0.55, and 0.57 inches for an average of 0.55 inches expanded diameter. That works out to 2.5x expansion. Very, very good expansion on these. And as you can see, especially with the middle and bullet on the right, right? The expansion was very uniform. These mushroomed very nicely. It's not like there's just a jagged piece sticking out somewhere trumping up the expansion number. These expanded all the way around evenly. 
And now on to velocity. Our high was 29.30, our low was 28.98 for an average of 29.12 versus the factory build velocity of 3,050 feet per second. So we did come in 138 feet per second slow out of our 18 inch barreled CZ carbine. But I think this is good real world data because most guys these days shooting a 223 are doing it from a 16 or 18 inch barrel. Now, granted, some of you coyote hunters, dedicated varmint hunters, yeah, there's 24-inch barrel 223s out there, but as a percentage of what's being shot, they are not in the majority. Now on to penetration. We saw 15 inches, 16 and a half inches, and 19 inches of penetration for an average of 17 inches of penetration, which if you're using these for varmint hunting, might be a bit more than you want. And seeing as how these retain most of their weight, they didn't blow up and break up, they expanded a lot, these are going to punch all the way through any varmint that you're shooting with it. So, I mean, varmint hunters, let me know in the comments if you would actually use this stuff. These performed very, very differently than a lot of your ballistic tip varmint bullets. And now on to kinetic energy, with a 64 grain bullet going on average 2912 feet per second, we're looking at 1,205 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Federal 64 grain soft point out of the 223. Now, I've been testing a lot of deer hunting oriented loads out of the 223. This is not marketed as a deer load. This has a prairie dog, a fox, and a coyote on the box, if I recall correctly. So this is a varmint load. This is what this is being marketed as. But what's interesting is it performed actually better than some of the deer loads that I have tested. So let's go ahead and go over it. 90% weight retention. These things looked really good when they came out of the gel. Nice mushrooms, 2.5X expansion. Not only did they retain their weight, but they expanded really wide as well. Incredible performance there. And then velocity wise, they came in 138 feet per second slower than the factory build velocity. No surprise there, we're used to seeing stuff like that. If you're shooting out of a longer barrel, you might see some more velocity. I was shooting from an 18 inch barreled CZ carbine, and most people these days are shooting 223 and 556 from 16 and 18 inch barrels, so I think it's a good test. Penetration wise, this was surprising. 17 inches on average. And with that really good expansion that we saw, to have it keep on penetrating that deep, I think is really good. And again, that's better performance than some of the deer oriented 223 loads that I have tested. Very interesting. Kinetic energy wise, with your 64 grain bullet going on average 2,912 feet per second, we're looking at 1,205 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle, which is right there in line with a lot of the other 223556 loads that I've tested. So what would I use this particular load for? Well, it, in my book, it did really good. Now, if you're varmint hunting, what a lot of people look for is a bullet that actually breaks up in fragments. This isn't going to do that for you. But if you're shooting maybe larger size varmints and predators, coyotes and stuff like that, and you're not concerned with, you know, putting an entry and exit hole through the hide, but you want to put them down, I think this could be a really, really good option for you. And in my experience, Federal Factory ammo tends to be pretty darn accurate. So this could be the perfect stuff for you. If you've used this ammo on game, varmint hunting, deer hunting, whatever, let me and everybody else know in the comments how it did for you. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me, how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well, I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.